Rachel. Okay. Hello. So, for my presenting self, I made a. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see it. So, some of the things I think that I put off that people view, I like to go shopping and buy, you know, nice things like shoes or purses or jewelry. I like nice things but I have to work really hard for those things, but I think that most people get the wrong impression when they see those type of things. They kind of judge me based off those things and don't really understand. Um, I love my coffee. <laughs> I have to have my coffee in the mornings. Um, I like to exercise and try and be healthy and stay fit the best that I can. So. And I think that for the most part, there's two sides that people see. I can be fun and have a really good time if I'm doing something that I enjoy. But when I ask most people, I tend to be kind of uptight and high stress. And I think a lot of it has to do with things that I have going on as far as um, my program and just different things in my life. So I'm kind of irritable most of the time. <laughs> but I also do have a lot of fun. Um, I love to cook, and so I'm always trying to make new things, and it's something that I really enjoy. And I also, as far as like doing other things that I enjoy that people said, I love to be outside and like gardening, or just being outside is really therapeutic and relaxing for me. So I, I really enjoy those things. Um, I'm a very much a family person, so anybody that you ask, that's what I'm usually doing most of the time instead of going out and doing other things I want to do, I'm at home with my family doing stuff. So, and then my perceived self. This is a picture of me and my grandmother. This um, is, she's passed away and she was a big part of my life, and so... That's someone that I really look up to, and I don't think that I really share that with a lot of people because it's really personal, because I was closer to her than my mom. So that's something that is really important to me. And then also, I put this in here just as kind of a representation of my relationship with God, because that's very important, and I try and put that first. Um, Things that the kids make me, I have like homemade stuff that they make me in school, and that kind of stuff is very personal, and I hold that stuff really close. So, and then also things like my accomplishments as far as like at work. This is a award that I got for doing something nice. It's called a mercy memo. Someone else wrote something nice about me, and then it goes through the administration at my work and goes to my boss. So that's something that I hold close. And then also, you know, things like my family and also um, a lot of things that I don't really talk about. Soccer was a huge part of my life for about eight years. And I was very athletic and it was something that I really enjoyed doing. So that and then my animals. This is just a cute little pin that I have. I'm a cat person. I love dogs too, but that kind of stuff is really personal to me and it makes me feel really happy. So. And then for my desired self, um, I'm currently finishing the pharmacy tech program. I graduate in um, December, so I have a picture here of just, that represents a huge part of an accomplishment. It was a very hard thing for me to accomplish. So I'm proud of myself for doing that, but I don't think that that's where I want to stop. I want to keep going and possibly I put a picture of photography on here. I'm not really sure which way that I'm going to go, but I love to learn, so I might go other directions with schooling and stuff too. So I don't think that that's my end of the road for me. So I have that, and then also I love traveling. So some of my goals are I want to go to Europe and I want to see other countries and learn about their cultures and their food and that's really interesting to me in places like Italy and over there, places I really want to go see. 
so and then perfecting I'm always I have to make sure everything as far as my goals and everything that they're perfect and I finish I don't stop what I'm doing I keep going until I'm done and really push myself no matter how hard it is I always live by nothing you can't um, what am I trying to say you can't when you're feeling like you can't do something you push yourself through until you do finish because in the end your reward is going to be great no matter how hard it is to get there so and then always um, thinking of new food and stuff to make that's something I want to keep doing because I enjoy doing that so and then Las Vegas is probably my fun vacation spot 